Geek and Geekettes, and welcome to another edition of the Geek Station with me, Mr. Sinsini. And today, we are taking our first look at Stonehearth. Now, I need to make this very, very clear to those that are watching. This game is in alpha. I will say that again. This game is in alpha. This is Alpha 1. This is the first ever release. Uh, that the publishers have done of this game. It's available from their website, which I'll link in the description below. And it's available... I think I only paid like £12, maybe not even that. Uh, I bought it just literally just the day that the um, this alpha build was released. And you'll see, I hopefully, straight away, why I fell in love with it the moment, the moment that I saw uh, the little trailer that they uploaded. Now, obviously, at the moment, um, this is uh, obviously still very, very, very early alpha, and it, it, you know, it lags out a bit. It's not very smooth, um, but it, for me, the thing about this game is the potential. Is it just has? You'll see what I mean. Let's get straight into it. So, it's about creating. This game will be about creating a, a, a kind of a civilization, if you like. Uh, you know. Very much like Towns meets Minecraft meets Cube World by the looks of it. It's very Cube World-esque, isn't it? Um, and the idea is that you, you, you will build up your, um, your little town, your little society of settlers, uh, and you'll fight off mobs and, you know, obviously, you know, make them prosper and mine and, and all that good stuff. Everything that we like from these types of games. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to place my banner down there. Wherever I place my banner, that's going to be the centre of my town. Uh, and it's where the fireplace is going to be. And I'll show you the fireplace in a minute. So we're going to pop our little guys down here. Let's have a look at them. Now, look at these little guys and tell me, are they not oh so cute? I mean, look at them. I mean, oh, look at them. They just they look around and everything. It ah oh, Right. Enough uh, looking at how pretty the little characters are. I'm going to create a little stockpile here, and basically what they're going to do is they're going to take their few resources that they've got, and they're going to go and take them and just drop them off there. Um, now, I've played this a couple of times, and... Oh, okay, I got it. And what I've noticed is that very, very quickly, uh, your settlers will start to get hungry. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to very quickly just go and go... And pick these berries and while those berries are going to go and picked I'm going to go and set it up so I can chop these bits of wood here as well. Um, the only thing that you can really do in this game at the moment is build uh, this one house uh, which I will show you the building of now uh, and you can build some furniture, you can build uh, some tables and some chairs and some beds and things like that. Um, but at the moment, it's all very, very. As I say, it's this is this is just an alpha build. I cannot stress that enough. That this really has nothing to it at the moment, except for these awesome character animations and the concept, which I just, as I say, I fell in love with the moment I saw it. I mean, just look at these little guys. They're just, they, I just, ah, oh, they're so cute. They just, I love them. I don't know what it is. I, d I don't know why. Maybe I'm a bit silly, who knows. Anyway, let's build, should we build a house? Should we get a house going first? Because this is, as I say, this is pretty much all that you can build at the moment. I don't even know, do you know, how to rotate these round. How bad is that? Um, I don't, oh god, oh, apparently I have placed, oh no, I haven't. There we go, okay. Uh, oh, there we go, right click, does rotate. I thought, yeah, I thought we made them. Okay, let's build a nice house. Just here, around the fire, I think. That would be lovely. We don't want them to walk too far from the stockpile, because at the moment the AI is very, very, very weird. Uh, as I say, I mean, it's alpha. They've got lots to work on. They've got lots of pathfinding. They've got lots of, uh, you know... Um, if you actually look at the, the development roadmap uh, for this game, I think out of the, I think maybe 10, maybe 12 main concepts that they want to put in, so crafting, trading, multiplayer... Um, you know, uh, attack from mobs, mining, you know, level characterization, that type of thing. Um, they're only about, uh, I think, 20%, if that, uh, in all of those options. With the exception of multiplayer, they haven't even touched multiplayer, which is pretty standard. I mean, most games, most developers obviously aren't going to look at multiplayer until the core game is there. Um, so it is very, very much a work in progress. Uh, but I 
as I say, I saw a video uh, with one of the, de the devs um, building a house, and it just made me want to go out and buy the alpha build just to see these guys just building the house. I mean, obviously, it's all very untextured at the moment, but look, I mean, they put down the scaffolding, which I personally just think is, is just awesome. So you put the scaffolding down, uh, and then obviously, you know, they'll climb up and they'll um, they'll climb up the scaffolding, build the, the bricks and stuff, and I just... And look at this, as the sun, you can see I've got this timer in the top right, the, 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 the day-night cycle. As the sun comes down across this valley, you know, the shadows are moving across the ground, and I just... As I say, I mean, it's absolutely fantastic. It is a little bit laggy at the moment, as I say, I mean, it's not optimised at all. Um, and, you know, like these things here, this obviously is going to be stone that I can mine, but I, I can't do anything at the moment. But what I really, really want to show you, and I'm, I'm, I'm hoping that the the sun will drop completely over the horizon soon. I think, yeah, it's setting behind us, isn't it? Because this, for me, this is one of the greatest moments of this game. When the sun goes down, and they all stop building, and it it's like, well, what do you do when the sun goes down? You know, I mean, obviously, we, we don't build. We don't continue building, so what are we going to do? Well, I will show you as soon as this last little bit here, this just last little bit just disappears. They will stop construction on the house for the day. Here we go. It's now officially night time. So I think they're just going to place the blocks that they've already picked up. And then, hopefully, he says, oh, he thought about it. Yep, he thought about it. And then he gave up and then he started something else. Here he goes. He's going to bring some firewood to the fire. He's going to pop it down. I want to get in close to this. And he's, he's now going to spark. He's going to... Oh, there we go. Oh, a little bit of lag there. Sorry about that. As I say, it's not... I, 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 I am unfortunately... I'm not dropping any frames in the recording. It's just the uh, it's just the video that's dropping... The actual game that's dropping the frames, unfortunately. Um, but here we go. And then they'll all... Now they've got their fire. Oh, this, the, now. This is interesting, actually, because they're not doing... <laughs> I love this game already. They're not doing what I thought they would do. Oh no, she is. Here we go. Oh no, she's thought about it. And then, I think if I zoom in all that far, I don't think the game can render the graphics quite as well. The little pixels of the fire coming out. Bless it. It's such an early game. Here we go. They're just going to, I think this is firewood that they're collecting. What normally happens is they will bring, there we go. Oh no, he thought about it. Is normally they bring their firewood down. They drop it down. There we go. He's got a bit of firewood. Oh, and then they will drop it down and they will all sit around the fire. But I think what I've done is I've built the house so close to the fire that they can actually just keep on working all through the night. So what I actually wanted to show you, I can't. Ah! Oh. <laughs> Absolute epic fail. So we'll have to wait until I think they until they finish the house completely. And then once they've done that, see this little guy's getting hungry now. This game's I can see what they're doing with it. It's a little bit like um it's a little bit like Towns, if you ever played Towns, which was a great game uh, a couple of years ago. I think they're still releasing updates for it. Very, very good game. Um, but you stacked up the orders for your little villages. So, you know, it, you didn't actually have any direct control. I can't, you know, I can't tell this guy to go off and do something right now because I've queued up the orders. I queued the orders up to pick the berries and to, you know, harvest the trees and what have you and, they, and build the house. And that, they went and did that. Oh, here we go. Oh, this, yeah, this little fella down here. See, who's, who's this? This is, this is Dara. Dara Burleyhand. She is a worker. She has been working hard all day building this settlement's first house. And now she is resting by the fire. She's got her firewood in case the fire goes out. And these guys have as well. They, they've all been working so very, very hard. Oh, Dara suddenly got very hungry and decided to run off and grab some berries. <laughs> How wonderful. Um, and what I like about this as well is that every character uh, looks like it gets ra these randomly generated stats. So obviously you've got these three main here, so mind, body, spirit. So I'm assuming that in the future obviously these stats are going to affect the careers of the people. And what I mean by the careers is, is this. What you can do is you can build these little... Uh, at the moment, you can only build a carpenter, which helps you build all the other items that you need. So a bed and a table to eat at and stuff like that. So let's put that um, let's put that down here on this side of the 
the house there. So I'll plant that down. Now, obviously, they're sleeping at the moment. They're probably not going to do anything uh, at the moment. Oh, I need to put a crafter's stockpile just to put all their stuff down. Don't make it too big. There we go. Um, so, obviously, they're probably not going to do much. Oh, this person, uh, Raven Yondu. She very, 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 she's very keen, despite the fact that they, she was working all day building the house and picking berries, while the others slept and rested around the fire, she went, no, 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 I want to create my workbench. Now, she has now created the workbench, and what I can do is I can promote a citizen to Carpenter. So, in honour of steadfast efforts and resilience, we hereby advance, I think it has to be, doesn't it? Raven Yondal to the role of Carpenter on this day. Uh, what was that? Day two of something, something. I couldn't quite see it. But there we go. So she, because... Oh, look at that. Look, did you see that? Did you see how she picked it up? And then, oh, this, this game is so cute. I just absolutely love it. And look, a new day dawns. Uh, the back of the house hasn't quite been finished yet. Uh, but needless to say, we now have a carpenter, uh, Raven Yondal. She is now the village uh, uh, carpenter. All these guys, they're so sleepy. Ah, oh, we sh we're going to have a little sleep. The sun's come up now, <laughs> but now is the time we're going to sleep. Ah, oh, it's your poor little diddums. Well, as you can see, they have all just come to a complete standstill. I will say this one more time. This is an alpha game. But this has been my first look at this alpha game, which I will obviously, every time there is an update, I will update you. Let me just quickly show you that with the carpenter, you can craft all these items. So fences, uh, gates obviously for your fence, uh, chairs, some cool chairs, tables, you know, and, and obviously then we've got the beds and stuff. Now, unfortunately, some of these require cloth. Which, at the moment, I can't tell how uh, how you can actually gather cloth. I'm assuming it's obviously an item that isn't available yet. See, they've just stopped building this house now. Um, the, the, the AI <laughs> has just completely given up. Um, I can't... No, I can't, I can't get them finishing that construction of that building. But, I mean, if I wanted to, you know, I mean, I can build another house. What's this wall roof? Oh, that must be like the corner of something, perhaps. So I could build like... Maybe I... Can I build... Ah! Oh, oh, God! They're going to now probably build a wall there, aren't they? <laughs> oh, dear. Okay, anyway, look. This is uh, Stone Hearth first look. It's available um, in a very, 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 very early state, as you can see. But it's available uh, from the developer's website, which I will link down in the description right now below. Uh, and stay tuned, because I will, as the updates are released, I will release a video on this as the updates, because I am... I, I don't know why, but as you can clearly tell... I am in love with this game already, and all I can do is build houses badly. So, who knows? The future is bright, I think, for this game. So, thank you very much for watching, and uh, I'll catch you next time. Adios, amigos.